Engineer Boy 100 here. Today's video is on the diverter valve or the blow off valve. The fundamental difference being the blow off valve actually vents to the atmosphere and the diverter valve recirculates the pressure from the intake manifold. I'm going to be covering how to use them, how to maintain them, how they work, and why I selected the one I did. So we'll come in a little bit closer and I'll show you my diverter valve. Okay, the job of the diverter valve is to relieve the intake manifold pressure once you let off the gas during boost. So these diverter valves are really, really well made. I chose these after looking at several different makes um, based on how they seal, which I'll show you when I take it apart, and what it takes to maintain them. Now, how a diverter valve works, let me show you. You take off this side pipe, and if you look inside here, there's a cylinder, a valve that goes up and down. See, I can push that and it moves. Well, the way it's actuated is by the vacuum on top. And vacuum is applied to this fitting when you let off the gas and there's vacuum in the intake manifold. It then releases the pressure so that the pressure doesn't go back down your piping to your turbo and slow down your fan and your turbo from spinning. It keeps your turbo boost up for when you get back on the gas. So, opening up this a uh, diverter valve is simply a matter of screwing off the top. It has a threaded cap and it has a seal inside the cap. These uh, have springs and a set of three for three different tensions. And if you have a stock setup, you want to use the lightest spring. And you can take your valve out and push it out like so. And to maintain this, so you want to use a grease that is non-petroleum based so it doesn't react with your O-wings and degrade them. So we have some synthetic greases here that I recommend. I have a bearing grease here that I use. And also for the threads, I have plumber's grease. Let me get a look at that. And I have a silicone grease that I buy from MercedesSource.com. And I'll put a little link in the description and a short video clip of their website after this. So here's a quick shot of the Mercedes Source website. Here's what it should look like when you go, if you decide to get the synthetic grease. So the diverter valve maintenance is quite simple. You probably want to do it every time you change your oil. And all you have to do is wipe off the piston here. You take it out, wipe it off, and then re-grease it. And you want to put a very thin film of grease on the piston and the cylinders. So I get a little bit of grease, I put it on the piston like so. It doesn't take much. Once it's clean, that's all you want to put on. And then you want to do the same thing to your cylinder as you did to your piston. A little bit of grease, a light film, and you put it on your surface like so. You also want to remove your O-rings. There's one on the top and two inside. Take them out, clean them, and then put them back in. Check them for damage. If they're nicked, you want to replace them. Then you want to take your um, piston. You put it back in. It's a pretty, it's a fairly tight, close fit, but it should slide in very easily once it's lined up. Then you put your spring in and your cap. The threads will seal best with these silicone greases from plumber's grease or from Mercedes. So that's how you maintain your diverter valve. Now, the reason I purchased these particular diverter valves is some of the diverter valves have an O-ring on the sealing part of the valve. And I'll show you that location right now. There's an O-ring right here that goes around and it seals. That wears out and then it makes your valve leak. So I purchased one that has a metal to metal seal for a better, uh, better longevity, okay? So this goes like so. You'll also notice that on the, your side pipe, there's a little O-ring that needs to be checked and or replaced periodically. In addition to putting your synthetic grease on these threads, you wanna check that O-ring and if it's damaged or nicked, that could be a source of leaks, you want to replace that. 
Other than that, the diverter valve is fairly simple. Uh, with proper maintenance, they'll work very well and last for, you, last for you for a very long time. And that is why I selected this particular uh, unit because it's simplicity, it has a proven track record of working well, it's, it seals easily, it has good threads, it seals easily, and you can also um, upgrade your boost with the different springs if you decide to do a tune on your unit. So, that's Diverted Valves. Thanks for watching.